Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the self-hosted AI starter kit by NA10 that will completely change how you build your AI automations. Now imagine having your own private AI playground that comes complete with everything you need to build powerful AI workflows and that you can run fully locally. You don't have to worry about data privacy or even having an internet connection, it will still run. So let's have a look at what's included here. First, we have self-hosted NA10, so which is the backbone of this whole system. And then we got Olama, which is a service that lets you download and run local LLMs. You got Quadrant, which is a super fast vector storage. And then also PostgreSQL, which is a database that you can also use as a chat memory, which I will show you how to do in this video. And what you can build is basically anything, AI agents, you know, text summarizers, Slack bots, basically anything you can think of. So let's get started installing this. Now, you can take this and clone it with Git. If you don't have Git, scroll up here and go here and click on download zip. And then you just extract the zip file, extract that directory. Now I have Git, so I'm gonna copy this and download it this way. Paste it in here. So now it's cloning into self-hosted AI starter kit. Let's wait for it to finish. All right, so now it's finished. Now I'm gonna CD into the self-hosted AI starter kit. Now, if you uh, download it the other way, you just go into your directory, right click and open up a terminal in there. All right, so now the next step is, let's come down here and you see that Depending on your system, if you're running Linux, Mac, or Windows, there's different ways to install it. If you got an NVIDIA GPU, for example, you might want to run it this way with your GPU because it will be much more performant that way. If you don't have a GPU like me, then you will go down here and use this command. And also, if you're on Mac, you will only use this command. So I'm going to copy this here, open up my terminal, paste it in here. All right, great. And you see now it says any 10 ready on 0045678. So let's open up a new tab here, local host 5678. And now we're on NA10, and here we're just going to create an account. Awesome. So now inside NA10 here, let's create our first workflow. Click there. Click here. And here we're going to choose AI. Search for AI agent. And let's move the screen over there a bit. Okay, so now we got our first AI agent. And the first thing we're going to need for it to work is the chat model. Now we open, we installed Olama. So uh, we're going to be able to choose an Obama chat model, which will be running locally. you got other chat models to choose from as well, but most of these will not be running locally, of course. So, choose Olama here. And you see that it's already connected to the Olama service automatically. Now, there's two models here, Gemma and Lama 3.2. Those I have already uh, downloaded before, so if you don't have downloaded uh, any models before, you will not see anything here. So to download some models, go to Olama here, olama.com. And in search models here, click, it, click here. You will get a list of few models. If you click on view all here, you will get a bigger list with everything basically. So we got embedding models, vision models, and tool models. Now for normal chat, you will use a tool model. And you see here there's different models with different sizes. The 8B, 70B, this is the version and the size of the model. So the bigger the model, usually the smaller it is and also the uh, more resources it will need from your system. So if you got a weak computer, you would like you would better be better off choosing a smaller model. Now I don't have a very powerful computer, so I'm just going to take this Quen, not the colder one, but Quen 2.5 here, 1.5B is going to be good. So let's open up the terminal and open up another tab here. Do Olama list. And here you see my running models. You will probably not have any models running. And to run and install 
the new model, CW Obama run, take the model name, yeah, let's input it manually, Quinn 2.5, and after that, do a colon, and now you choose the version. So I'm going to have the 1.5b version here, so the 1.5b, and now it's downloading it and installing it. So we're going to have to wait a little while for this, finish. I'll press forward to the video and now it's finished downloading. You see here we can start chatting with it. Hi. And it's kind of slow. I guess it's because my system is slow. Anyway, it's working. So uh, let's go back to uh, NA10 here. And now we should be able to use that model. So you see that we get a new model here, Quet 2.5. Choose that one. So now that's working. Let's try it out. Like high, and we get an answer. Hello, how can I help you today? Great. So this is working. Everything's connected here with the llama. Now the next step here is we want to add a chat memory so that it can preserve the context between uh, different messages and remember what we have said before. So let's click on memory here, and here we've got different memories. So one of the better ones is the Postgres chat memory. The window buffer memory here isn't very good. So since we have Postgres installed, we choose that one. And here we're going to set up some credentials. Click on Create New Credentials. And you see we have, we've got some default values here, which most likely will not work, uh, especially since we does not, do not have a password. So to get uh, the correct values, we need to go and inspect our Postgres container. So let's go back to our terminal. I'm going to get out from this one. And then we do Docker, ES, PR running services. And let's look for Postgres one here. We've got Postgres here. To the left here, we've got the ID of the container. Let's copy that. And then we do Docker, inspect, and the ID. All right, so now here at the bottom of the page, you see we got networks here. And on the networks, we find an IP address here. So we're going to take that IP address. Copy that, go back to NA10 here, and we're going to paste that instead of localhost on our host, like so. All right. And then we're also going to look for the database name, username, and the password. Go back here, scroll up, and here we got some environment variables. So we got the Postgres DB, this is the database name, NA10. Postgres user, the username is root, and the password here is password. So let's go back to, uh, okay, I lost it. Click on edit here. So the database name was n 8 m The username was root, and the password was password. So let's type that. And the rest you can just leave as is. Click on save. We see connection, test is successful. Great. So now it's working. Let's go back out. And let's try it again. Hit hi. Hello, how can I help you with? Let's say my first name. It's background. We're actually this on the new name, okay? My dad, my last name. It's happy. So now to test that it's remembering context between different messages, I'm going to ask for my phone name. What is my phone name? And you can see now, we replied correctly, you're following me second copy. If you have a look here, you see that it goes through the Postgres chat memory here. And here on the output, you see all the different messages that we sent before. Hi, my first name is Akram, my last name is Kadri. So it's remembering everything here. So. That's, that's it basically for this tutorial. Uh, this is a simple AI agent here with the chat memory and using a local model, so it's running fully locally here. Uh, I will be making more tutorials based on this one. So if you want to see some more AI agent content, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't sell anything and please leave a like also. Uh, aside from that, I hope to see another video. Take care.